It's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. It is your Ryan Report where you can see it live on v-103.com if you like to. Because that's where we like to show it to you. On a Friday, suckers! Let's start out with a tweet heard around the world. Uh, Elaine and David McClain have a little bit more money in the bank. Uh, they appeared on television and announced that they, uh, you know, basically had accepted Spike Lee's apology for the tweet heard around the world. He uh, mistakenly gave out the address he thought was George Zimmerman's, but uh, it was not. It was the McLean's. They've reached a settlement with the filmmaker. What's that got to be worth? Hey, because their at son's least, at least half a mil. Their son's name was William George Zimmerman. Yeah, that's half. That's got to be at least a million. Yeah, at least half. Yeah, yeah. Said the spike called to apologize for retweeting their address. William George Zimmerman. Not that George. No, just just wrong, just wrong, man, just wrong. And uh, only more wrong than that is probably Snoop Dogg telling MTV he's about to explore an entirely new musical direction. He's gonna have a reggae album. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that. Ooh, we two, one, three, A to the B, C to the D. Ooh, put the horns in. Ooh, now put the bong in. Oh, shut to my back, ow, ow, come on with the whack, ow, ooh-wee, ow, 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 now it's me, ow, it just go, you know, that's, that's what it's going, <laughs> basically, that's all Snoop, I mean, come on, Snoop reggae album, what's next, the Christmas album, <laughs> come on, Snoop, uh, Jaleel White says she's a lie, she's a liar, he said that, uh, the mother of his Daughter Bridget Hardy, who called her, he, he she said it, he called her white trash. He says uh, basically, when you're doing well in life, it's par for the course. Certain individuals will try and knock you down. When the individual is also the mother of your only child, it is particularly hurtful. I can assure all of my fans this is only residue from a child custody matter. I've never heard of residue used like that. Excuse me, Jaleel, you got a little baby mama on you. Get get that off. And the Bodyguard musical is going to happen. Uh, They talked about it. Now it's going to happen. On November 6th, the stage adaptation will start previews and open in December. If you want to go see it, you're going to have to go to London. So that's what it's going to be. Was this already in the works? Or was this something that just came up? It's bodyguard everything now. Yeah. It's bodyguard everything. All right. Uh, And Tyson Beckford is a supermodel. There's also a supermodel by the name of, uh, I guess, Shanina Shake. You ever heard of her? Nope. She's very, very, very hot. She's smoking hot. There she is. Most supermodels are hot. There she is. You don't want to zoom in on that. That might burn your lens. Back it up. Uh... He says, when I found her, she was a regular girl. I helped place her with the right people. I got her teeth cleaned, her body (laughs) toned up. Everything changed. And now everybody wants a piece of her. I hear people say, you can do better than Tyson. I'm like, really? Really? I created her. So I guess his new name is now Tyson the Creator. It's like weird science. He made a girl. Come on, man. Come on. All right. That is your Ryan Report. Well, of course, Nicki Minaj was on American Idol last night. Uh, she also tried to get another job. J-Lo's not having it, man. She's Jenny from the block. You know what I mean? Watch this. You know, I was hoping maybe I could come back and be a guest judge. A guest judge here? Maybe. I, I defer to the panel. Would we accept the guest judge? Time, come Time. on. J-Lo, can Nikki. you scoot over a little bit and let me get up in there? <laughs> Here. We'll settle this next week. <laughs> and that's your Ryan Report right here on the People Station. More gas cards coming up. V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.